sunlight and nature so important these days people are spending more and more time on their screens and God love them if they can do it it's a very useful way of getting information great respect for it however it's a big however human beings were designed originally to function in a natural world we were designed to be connected to the source of energy which is beneath my body right now the earth such a wonderful source of energy and you've only got to look around you to see how healing the green is green is such a powerful color for the heart to me it's heart medicine to be outside on a day like this so that's the nature that's the mother earth and then let's look at the light the wonderful sun which is blessing us at the moment it really is important to get time to be outside in the sunlight if you live in a country like i do where you cannot guarantee it maybe if you live somewhere like in arabia maybe you don't need to be so concerned about such matters but so many of us are living lives where we're actually confined in boxes buildings of some kind or we live in climates where we have months of the year where there isn't much light the body does need light it really is good for it sunlight is our primary source of vitamin d you can get vitamin d from other sources if you eat large amounts of animal food you will get the vitamin d from the animal that sacrifices its life to feed you if you go into the health food shop and buy pills you can take vitamin supplements with vitamin d in harder to metabolize the easiest form of metabolism for the body is the vitamin d which comes through the sunlight it's to do with a molecule called alpha tocopherol so it's a combination of the alpha tocopherol and the sunlight makes vitamin d it's essential for life and this is why people suffer in the winter times in the colder climes because of the difficulty of getting enough actual sunlight into their bodies and this allows me to come up with a wonderful little digression it distresses me to see people put sunscreen and sunblock on their bodies because mainstream newspapers only last week daily mail english newspaper sunscreen and sunblock toxic poisonous yeah well didn't we know that one for a long time well a lot of us did but some of us didn't so my advice to you if you're and i'm going to use the word hooked on sunblock and sunscreen the first thing you've got to realize is you're putting a toxin onto your body which is no good for your body Second thing is if you get into the water, it's actually harmful to the plant and animal life around you. So what I'd advise you to do is to wean yourself off such products. Do be careful in the sun. Don't expose yourself to too much sun because that's what sunblock was invented for, for people who are careless and not mindful. The sun is a fantastic source of energy. Too much of it can kill us, too little of it can make us very depressed. And we can suffer from that awful illness called SAD, something to do with sunlight deficiency. So if you are someone who's hooked on the sunblock, what you want to do is stop using it and expose yourself to small bursts of the sun energy and you won't have any trouble that way. Just don't be in the sun too long. I was interested to see in Spain everyone was advised to stay out of the sun between about 11am and 3pm because of course the sun there is so strong you've got to be really careful. So you would avoid those times and you'd be out in the sun before 11 or after 3 and that way you could handle it better and you gradually build up your tolerance and as anyone knows for everyone except for the real red haired ones amongst us who've got very sensitive skin everybody else you just gradually get used to the sun so if you've got a highly sensitive skin you need to cover up more you might wear a hat but bottom line is do get outside and do enjoy the beauties of nature and the incredible power of the sun which in the right amount is so good for you Yes, as well as sunblocks and sunscreens, there's also fake tan, and there's also the tanning studio. Now you might notice that when people use fake tan and go into the tanning studio, they don't come out brown, they come out a rather strange orange colour. Obviously, this is another form of toxifying yourself, putting poisons into your body, making yourself literally less healthy. It's like one of our jobs is to be as healthy as we can in a world which is rather mixed what I love about the world because here we are we have got nature the air here is really pure and unspoilt it's quality of the sunlight is fantastic the sound of the birds it's all so full of life and yet more and more human beings are choosing to spend more and more of their time in the cities and if they do they need to be mindful about the effects of those city vibrations mindful about the fact that they're being excluded from nature and make the point of going out and 
getting a dose of nature into their bodies, into their systems. Dare I say it, I do dare I say it, into their souls, because I'm talking on a soul level here as well, a connection to nature. That's really important. So if there are circumstances where people can't do that, there are circumstances where people's choices are really limited. Well, it's down to basics then, isn't it? It's down to a window box, a few little pots and seeds. Just get your little plants growing on your window box, get your little seeds shooting up, producing sprouts, producing little plants. Just being able on a daily basis to see green plants growing, so nurturing, so nourishing. If you're fortunate enough to have animals in your life, again, so much nurturing is to be obtained from your close connection with them, whether they be pets or whether they be animals in a farm, small holding, it's all good for you. So a little bit about the sun and the moon then. When it comes to the sun, there's a practice you can do which is called sun gazing. When you gaze into the sun in the last hour of the day or the first hour of the day for 10 seconds, and you build up day by day, 10 seconds at a time, until you end up with 44 minutes. A fellow shaman of mine, Robert, has done this. He gets very good results from that. Now this is what I learned. The sun energy, the sun energy is very male, very masculine energy. And if that's an energy you're attracted to, it's great. I found for myself it wasn't suitable. I was more attracted to moon gazing, and I had the privilege and the pleasure to do that in Spain a few years ago now. And just being outside at night, taking the energy of the moon, I found it so gentle and nurturing in a different way. So there's sun gazing, you can get great results from that, some people. And then there's moon gazing as the other opportunity. And then that leaves the last one. To me, so powerful, stargazing. Wherever you live, even if you live in the middle of the city, it's possible to get out at night and just look up at the stars. That is something that connects you with your source. It connects you with where we all came from to where we're all going. Stargazing, that's a practice I recommend. So to conclude on the subject of light, the sun, the moon, the stars, we are all light beings, we're all made of light. If you go into the science of human beings, we're quite amazing because every single cell of your body has got cell membranes and guess what, the cell membranes all emit constantly what are called virtual photons and these are literally light corpuscles. So even the mainstream scientists, when they go into looking at the human body, they knew what the esoteric mystics have known for millennia, which is yes, we are light, we come from light, we return to light. Bottom line, you live in a flat, you don't go out, 10 minutes a day, by the open window, stick your arms out, stick your head out, get a little dose of that wonderful prana, as the Indians call it, that radiation, which is what connects us all up. The sun is, in many senses, our source, and here's something to think of. When I was brought up to look and to hear about the sun, it was suggested to me the sun was some kind of heavenly body that was lifeless and dead. Far from it. The sun is a very intelligent consciousness. Very, very intelligent indeed. So, the sun, the stars, the cosmos, yes. They are our heritage. They are our connection. We are them and they are us. We are stardust. You've heard it in the musical songs from the 19... There I say, yes, I dare say, the 1960s, Crosby, Stills and Nash. We are stardust, we are golden, and we are to get back to the garden. Well, I like the garden. <laughs>